Bruce Banner, Earth 616, aka The Hulk Complete Comic Series Part 6. One of Bruce's own SHIELD assistants, Melinda Lawson Stern, shot him in the head on orders of the Ancient Order of the Shield because they determined he was going to cause an extinction level event. Having suffered severe brain damage, Bruce was eventually cured by Tony Stark using the Extremis virus which further increased Bruce's mental capacity as a side effect not long afterwards, the Hulk and many other heroes were exposed to countless secrets kept by the late U.A. to the Watcher the vision he witnessed made Bruce mistakenly believe that Stark was responsible for him becoming the Hulk, since he had secretly tampered with the shielding of the Gamma Bomb on behalf of General Ross as part of his misguided revenge attempt against Iron Man. Bruce used his new intellect to tweak the extremist dose in his body and unleash a new persona for the Hulk. The super-intelligent Doc Green Doc Green made peace with Tony after learning that the Gamma Bomb's original shielding had been over-bolstered. And thus Tony's tampering had actually refined the bomb's explosive potential so that it would not disintegrate everyone within the blast radius with the result having been that Tony's actions had actually saved Bruce's life. After coming to the conclusion that the world was in danger due to its many gamma mutates, Doc Green determined that they needed to be neutralized. He developed a serum made from adamantium nanobites that absorbed gamma energy and used it to depower a bomb scar red She-Hulk the Gamma Core and finally, the Red Hulk the only Gamma Mutate Doc Green did not depower was the She-Hulk, since he determined she was the only Gamma Mutate whose life had been genuinely improved by her condition. Doc Green additionally realized that his intellect was slowly declining and would eventually return to its normal levels, those of the original primality of the Hulk. When an experimental fusion reactor started melting down, Bruce used the Hulk to absorb all of its radiation however, the new type of radiation being used on the plant threatened to cause the Hulk to detonate. The Hulk's friend Amadeus Cho assisted the Hulk, and in the process of saving his life, he used special nanites to transfer Banner's powers to himself even though he had become effectively gamma-free Bruce started experimenting on himself with gamma-irradiated cells at his laboratory in Utah Bruce's experiments caused him to become the target of one of the visions of an inhuman precognitive named Ulysses Kane, who foretold that Bruce would eventually transform into the Hulk and Kazan. Onslaught When a contingent of superheroes confronted Bruce Banner about the vision, they learned of his experiments. Banner became agitated, and Hawkeye shot him in the head with an arrow equipped with a special custom-built tip. It was eventually revealed during Hawkeye's trial that the arrow tip had been provided by Bruce Banner himself, and he had requested Clint to shoot him if it even became apparent that he would again transform into the Hulk. Bruce's body was stolen by the ninja clan known as the Hand shortly after his funeral the Avengers Unity Division attempted to stop the Hand's resurrection ritual, but arrived too late following a brief confrontation, the rampage of the Hulk, now again mindless, was finally contained within a magical doorway of Voodoo's creation, which allowed the sorcerer to enter Banner's soul and cleanse it from the Hand's corruption. Banner reverted to his human form and died in the process when Hydra took over the United States by the hand of an evil doppelganger of Captain America. Head scientist Arnim Zola resurrected Bruce Banner to use the Hulk in an assault against the resistance known as the Underground even though Banner refused to assist Hydra. The side of him that was the Hulk complied with pleasure as a result of a time-delayed device Zola had implanted. The Hulk's resurrection was temporary. Shortly before the destruction of the underground space, the Mount, his body deteriorated and he again died. Banner's body was left behind beneath the ruins of the Mount. The Hulk's third consecutive resurrection came by the hand of the Challenger, an exiled elder of the universe who had returned for a rematch against the Grandmaster. 
He related to the Hulk's rage, and brought him back to life to act as his ace in the hole during the final round of a contest between each of the Elder's teams, the Black Order and the Lethal Legion, whose objective had been to seize the pyramoids deployed on Earth by their masters during each round the Hulk agreed to help the Challenger retrieve the final pyramoid since the Earth was going to be destroyed as soon as the contest ended, and the Hulk saw it as a way to free himself of the nuisance of humanity by this time, Bruce Banner's persona, that had been overwhelmed by the Hulk's psyche, came to the realization that this succession of resurrections was not a coincidence, but simply a manifestation of the Hulk's innate immortality. During the final round, the Hulk rampaged to the Avengers' auxiliary headquarters, where Voyager, the Grand Master's own secret agent within the Avengers, had teleported the final pyramoid the Hulk quickly defeated the Avengers that tried to stand on his way and he even destroyed the vision even though the Hulk managed to make his way to the vault where Voyager was hiding the pyramoid, Wonder Man convinced him that the Challenger was as much at fault as the rest of humanity of not leaving him alone. When the pyramoid was within his grasp, the Hulk destroyed it instead costing the Challenger his victory following the Challenger's defeat banner went under the radar, with the resurrection of the Hulk becoming nothing more than a rumor to the general public Bruce started traveling the country aimlessly looking for ways to put the Hulk to use as a tool to bring justice in order to atone for his own sins. Reporter Jackie McGee tracked Banner and was later aided in her investigation by Banner's former colleague Walter Lankowski. After Lankowski was taken to a hospital when he was badly hurt trying to break up a fight between two men, he transformed into Sasquatch and killed the doctors treating him. Banner intervened and battled him as Hulk in order to subdue him. Hulk discovered that the source of Lankowski's rampage was the spirit of his father Brian Banner who had possessed Lankowski. Banner was able to stop Lankowski by draining him of his gamma energy, depowering him. However, Brian was able to move from Lankowski into the body of Banner. After being blackmailed by General Fortian into apprehending Banner in exchange for not charging Lankowski for the doctors he was forced to kill, Captain Marvel was forced to bring in the Avengers to bring Banner in however, Banner as Hulk, was too powerful for the Avengers to defeat. So, Iron Man was forced to use an energy weapon laced with UV radiation to prevent Hulk from emerging and healing Banner but also leveled the surrounding Community 10 after being turned over to General Fortian and his US Hulk operations, Banner, as Hulk, had his body cut into various pieces and kept in jars for study. The experiments were overseen by Dr. Clive, who enjoyed taunting the Hulk. Dr. Clive eventually realized too late that Hulk had actually been allowing him to experiment on him in order to figure out the extent of his own abilities. Hulk then smashed his way out of the jars and put his body back together while also killing Clive as punishment for his sadistic experiments. Hulk then smashed his way out of the underground base he was in before transforming back into Banner. Later, Banner found the corpse of a Doctor Strange from a possible future. After arriving in a small town in search of the Eye of Agamotto, missing from Strange's body, he eventually found an elderly man who was using the Eye to intimidate the town's folk. The Hulk emerged and took the Eye back unleashing the spirit of the alternate reality Doctor Strange, who warned him of a disastrous future. Doctor Strange then transported himself and Hulk to Hell, where they confronted two demons who were trying to allow the disaster that would destroy Earth to pass and cause the future to arrive. Hulk proceeded to eat one of the demons' face, which scared the other out of his physical form. They next entered the Life Eater heading for Earth, and a battle ensued. Eventually, Mephisto arrived and defeated the Life Eater. 
Doctor Strange asked Mephisto if he could cure Hulk and Banner of the demon within them. Mephisto revealed that the demon within them was far stronger than he was. Mephisto then transported Hulk back to Earth, where the Hulk made his way back to the bomb site where he was born at. In order to stop Hulk, Shadow Base brought in Carl Creel, the Absorbing Man, to take the Hulk down and gave to him a Hulk plug-in. Armed with his newfound abilities, Creel attacked the Hulk and with every touch he drained Hulk's gamma energy. This proved to be his downfall as he had also drained the one below all, disguised as Brian Banner's spirit, within the Hulk. Creel's physical body then exploded into a disgustingly horrifying creature, with his body ripped in half 243 and his spine and skull talking for him. Hulk eventually subdued the possessed Creel but was stopped when Gamma Flight and Jackie McGee appeared in front of him. Hulk was then shot in the eye by Agent Burbank, a shadow base operative, who had been watching the whole time. Hulk flipped out and attacked Gamma Flight. While this was happening, Creel ran away. Hulk recovering from the shock, turned to see Creel running, and realized what he was doing. He chased after Creel but was stopped when Puck stood in front of him with an energy weapon. Hulk walked closer but was shot. Then the one below all had Creel drain the leftover gamma energy in the area, which allowed the demonic being within Creel to use the green door to transplant the world into the hell-like realm of below place. Alpha Flight seemingly woke in their new location disorientated, and Hulk then greeted them by saying they were all now in hell.